Hello again. Well, it's only two weeks to go to Christmas, but it's been a very busy week in the Scottish Parliament. And also for me, the Scottish Parliament discussed uh, ScotRail and the extension of the franchise, which was done without any consultation and uh, without any transparency. Interestingly, we also discussed that in the Audit Committee on Wednesday. And uh, there's going to be a very interesting session in January where we hold the... Uh, Chief Executive of Transport Scotland to account for the But it's uh, also been a very busy week, uh, particularly outside Parliament. Uh, I went to Pilton to see the wonderful Community Health Project which received an award. Uh, I met uh, the Speaker of the Macedonian Parliament who was visiting the Scottish uh, uh, Parliament. I went out to see the posties at Portobello uh, preparing for the Christmas post. They got a wonderfully warm welcome and appreciated the very hard work that they're doing over uh, Christmas and the pressure they're being put under uh, by the management at the post office. Uh, I also met uh, some medical students from Edinburgh University who are doing a wonderful job encouraging the university to do more on drugs which help uh, poor people in the world and to make sure that they're available uh, f uh, cheaply to the poorer people around the, the world. And uh, maybe the highlight of the week, with no disrespect to any of the others, a visit to Kirkliston Primary School, uh, where uh, I had uh, a wonderful welcome from all the pupils, and the teachers, and the dinner ladies, uh, and the Jenny, and uh, had a school dinner, which was very good, Christmas lunch, including turkey, but above all, had great fun switching on the Christmas tree that I got from the, for them from uh, the... Uh, uh, Forestry Commission and I went out to switch on the lights on the Christmas tree. and next week uh, uh, more news from the Scottish Parliament the last one before the Christmas recess